ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬਾਗ ਯੂ ਵਾਚਿੰਗ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਚੈਕ ਹੈਲੋ YouTube ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਰਿਐਕਸ਼ਨ ਚੈਕ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਕਲਿਕਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਨਾਉ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਇਜ਼ ਅ Song ਕਾਲਡ ਮਰੂਧਨਾ ਯਾਗਮ um it's an exclusive song from a movie of Kamal Hassan uh, and the music is composed by Ilya Raja now a lot of you have actually re- asked me or recommended a lot of songs when i was doing some air rahman music everyone commented in the comment section saying that hey you know you must watch ilya raja because air rahman actually did some during his initial stay leisure time of of learning music or becoming a composer he worked with ilya raja a lot he was like an assistant to to ilya raja and i believe when you work along your idols you always pick something up from them which you may which may have taken you a lot of years to 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 master a particular craft or a particular thing now this is an interesting thing that the movie um marudhana yagam um, is a long delayed according to uh, wikipedia is a long delayed indian historical drama which is directed and written by directed produced um written by um by Kamal Hassan um the film started in August 1997 um uh, with an exclusive launch by Queen Elizabeth I'm not sure uh, how true that is because I don't know much um much about this film as well the film has been delayed since 1999 and it hasn't continued um the production so the movie is has not been completed yet Kamal Hassan as Muhammad Yusuf Khan he plays a role and in this particular song we are going to um have a glimpse of what happens in the movie what we can expect from the movie because the movie or the Kamal Hassan films are are an interesting bunch of movies that you can actually watch a lot of times when i watch Kamal Hassan films um they are very interesting and very unique i would love to know more about Kamal Hassan what his movie making idol who his movie making idols are because that will really give me an insight into what kind of films he likes and what kind of films we are experiencing through his um you know dynamic cinematic vision that he brings to us let's watch this song and see what we have in it i think the visuals from 1996 standard are are very very good reminds me of a movie called Apocalypto by my Mel Gibson it may not be similar but it just reminds me of that particular film was that a real rock? I 
I mean, since this film was made in uh, was was being made in 1997, and it was uh, in 1999. After a lot of delays, it got stopped, and it hasn't been continued. Now you see a lot of scenes in there, um, which reminded me of a lot of different films that really came, um, you know, much after um, you know 1999. Apocalypto is is one such film that you actually see. Um, I would have loved to see this movie, um, you know, you know, being made fully and then for, for us to experience because um, I think Kamal Hassan in all his films that you've actually seen, um, he has experimented, he has explored um, a very broad genre for his films. Uh, every time I mention whenever I do Kamal Hassan related films, um, uh, movie reaction or, 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 or songs, um, I always emphasize on the fact that there are a few movies that Kamal Hassan has done in the past which were absolutely brilliant and amazing to actually watch. Some of those movies include Apu Raja and, um, and Pushpak. Pushpak is one such film that, that I absolutely adore because I watched it when I was really young and I knew Kamal Hassan before that movie which was which is an absolute honor because growing up um, in different parts um, you know, of, of the country or of the world um, it was it was very fascinating. I was really, it was it was a fascinating experience to actually watch movies from all different parts of the world and understand um, what exactly is behind those movies. That really gave me a vision of what a good movie should be. And as you you know um, a, you know experience more and more films, you understand what is a good film, what isn't a good film, and you also get to see the the effort that. Um, the filmmaker puts into to his characters and also his movies and all the stories that that is brought to us. I think Kamal Hassan is one such person that has really, um, um, you know, has evolved a lot. And with his evolution, he has brought the kind of cinema that we may not have actually seen with other filmmakers. I'm not saying that other filmmakers are not doing anything good. Everyone has his own way of actually producing things. But just just that Kamal Hassan really stands out for me. Um, whenever I watch his work or his films, Ilya Raja in this uh, uh, in this particular song, uh, I have heard the Spotify playlist of Ilya Raja and I absolutely loved it. Um, and and it's a great thing to to have you know the Carnatic music, um, you know being uh, merged with a lot of Western music as well, and you get a very different and unique sound as as far as the Hindustani classical music is concerned. Um, you do know that in the 70s or in the 60s there was a lot of uh, fusion of jazz, blues into Hindustani music and then the western music comes in. Um, rock and roll was also part of the Hindustani classical music in the, in the, in the early 50s and 60s. That's when we actually started watching, uh, starting, um, you know, making big films uh, in this part of the region. It's a great thing. It's an honor for me to experience all these movies because it also educates me as a person who is who's watching all these films and all this content it it, it helps me drive um, a certain kind of conversation with people that are into films and it expands my knowledge as well um, this this film itself is a very interesting one I would I would love to know more about the character of Kamal Hassan because um, Kamal Hassan is playing someone as uh, uh, Muhammad Yusuf Khan but here you actually see him um, uh, you know, with a very long beard and with the yogi clothes, it must have been something. He must have gone through something. Like in Vishwarupam, you see him playing a lot of different roles in the first half of the film, and the second half of the film, you see him completely changing his character, and you you experience something very very different. And um, I believe similar sort of thing is happening here. You you if you pick up some of his movies like Chachi Charsubis, Apu Raja. Um, uh, you know, Pushpak or, or other other such films that I may not have watched and you guys would like to recommend, you could always put them in the comment section. It's just that his movies have have so much to offer as a viewer for us to experience. You know, we we always we always you know um, you know uh, think uh, are curious to explore more such movies, more such stories, and filmmakers who are daring enough to. Uh, to bring those ideas, to bring those larger than life stories in front of us on the larger screen and, and makes people like you who's watching this in person like me who is also watching these videos um, will remember that for a, for a very long time and we will be able to cherish this with our kids and all our people who are watching this video. Probably you're watching this video 50 years from now. I may be very old, maybe I'm dead. 
but you get to know what exactly these um, these videos or, or these TV shows have had an impact on the culture or the society that we live in right now. Maybe very different than what you are um, watching in, in whatever year you are watching this on whatever device you are watching this on. So thank you so much for watching this with me. Until next video, take very good care of yourself. Adios.